Willing Jela Yeni, welcome to Beat by Beat. Thank you very much. The name Free at Last, where does it come from? The name Free at Last, um, we've been a band for the past uh, 10 years now. And it goes back to when Lucky Dube came out with a hit called The Slaves. So mm -hmm. we were his backing band. Uh, the name came from, the name Slaves came from, um, it, it came from his hit. So uh, in uh, last year, which was 94, we decided to branch away from Lucky and form our own band. So when we're in the studio, it was during the inauguration of the president. So we decided, wait a minute, we are free at last. Is that possible? Let's name the band. Let's name the album Free at Last. And mm -hmm. then later we decided, let's name the, the album and the band Free at Last. And how did you choose your musicians? Because I think all of you come from different parts of the country. We, we actually didn't choose one another. We just uh, found ourselves uh, grouping together. What actually happened is that Richard Siluma wanted musicians, so he recruited us. So we, mm -hmm. he recruited us. So we didn't choose one another. We found each other. Mm -hmm. The type of music you perform, what do you call it? Oh, we call it reggae, roots reggae, a mixture of um, dub reggae um, and African reggae. Those, those names have been used and, and batted around so often. We, we're not too sure what they actually mean. When, what's the difference between dub reggae, you know? Oh, dub reggae is a kind of reggae that you just have bass and drum and no singing. And okay. then you have a keyboard here and there and a skank when it comes to the guitar. Mm -hmm. Now, roots reggae, is the original reggae, the father of all these other offsprings of reggae music mm -hmm. like dance hall and so forth and so on. Roots is the authentic uh, reggae that was uh, started by Peter Tosh and Bob Marley, the okay. Wailers, that is. Okay. Serious reggae music, not commercial reggae mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. That's, that was my next question to you. What do you feel about commercial? Because dub and raga today is more commercial than the Roots reggae. Well, we, we are basically a roots reggae band, mm -hmm. but now we don't want to stop, so we have to, you, you have to conform and adapt. I mean, uh, you're going to stick to what you really want. You won't have a recording deal, you won't have a following. So uh, we, would, we would do uh, raga because we want to have a following. Mm -hmm. Once we have a following and we established our name, that is when we'll go back to our roots. I mean, the third world has done it. They've gone back to roots reggae, but they started with commercial reggae. Just and to popularize fact, they, themselves. Exactly, they started this whole chant. Mm -hmm. Where to from here? From here, the sky is the limit. <laughs> I wish you all the luck and thanks for joining us Thank on Beat by Beat. Thank you.